welcome to one of the very last days of the trip. We are doing something really exciting today, something I've wanted to do for years and years. Um, we are headed to a Via Ferrata, and then we're climbing up that, going to some domes, and then that is right near the place called Trolltunga, which is like the super famous school hike. It's a rock that like juts out over the valley. It's crazy. I've wanted to go there for years, so I'm super stoked. And it's awesome that we get to do it with like a Via Ferrata and Dome and get to sleep over up there. So we should have it like mostly to ourselves, which uh, I'm just so excited. Um, all of it sounds so fun. I've never done a Via Ferrata before, but it seems super cool. It's like you clip in, you're in a harness, and you're basically like on these ladders and attached to wires the whole way up but it's like climbing a face so that's super cool and then some more domes which are awesome and trolltunga so i think it should be a really exciting day and a grand finale to our trip You have to bike a good amount of the first part up, and then you reach the Via Ferrata after scrambling for a little bit, and then we'll hike up a little bit more after that, and then reach the domes where we'll have a nice dinner and camp out, and then I think either tonight or tomorrow morning we'll go see the actual like troll tiny rock. You got it. Excited to not be on a bike anymore. With the weight is a little difficult, but it wasn't too far. Pretty quick of a bike ride, honestly, and very beautiful. finished the Via Ferrata and now we are in the cutest little dome. You can see from behind me. It's so pretty. They have like lovely sleeping bags for everybody and a cute little like dinner table set up and even I've been reading these Norwegian folk tales. They're really great. Trolltunga, which is super exciting. I think we're gonna do it twice today for kind of like a moody, misty vibe for the video, which they want at blue hour with headlamps, which always looks really cool. And then I wanna go back at sunrise to get like a 
dreamy, dressed early photo um, and video. So I'm gonna do it twice. It's only 45 minute walk oh, like from the camp. So not too bad, easily doable. Um, and I think it's pretty flat. So yeah, I'm really excited to see it. I think it'll be really cool with like the misty clouds and hopefully tomorrow a dreamy sunset or sun sunrise. <laughs> just learned from our guides it was said to be a troll who stuck out his tongue and tried to lick the sun I think and then when it faced the sun it turned to stone so it is the tongue okay so I'm down at the tongue um, the big rock that sticks out and it's actually quite wide like I was always a little bit worried that I would be really scared I'd just like fall off the side I don't know but it's actually like there's quite a bit of room on there, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we are headed back down. It has been an amazing trip. It's around 10, 10.30 right now, and there are loads of people coming up. We just left our little dome over there, which we stayed in, and um, we're seeing people come up the actual trail. And you can actually see like the line for Cholatunga right now. It's getting huge. So I think people are just lining up to take the photo and um, maybe take like, a little video. But it feels like a it would be a different experience doing it that way. So I would recommend either coming up really early, like starting at night and then coming up, or doing what we did and staying at a dome or backpacking or what other other options there are, but the Arctic Dome was really awesome. It was a great experience. It was cool to do the Via Ferrata and get that experience. And then you get to hike down. So you also get to do the hike, um, but you don't have to do the 18 miles round trip. You just have to do the nine miles on the way down. So I think it was a great option because yeah, we got most of it to ourselves. Like it wasn't super busy and I got to enjoy it kind of like it was a normal hike and not some super popular highway. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.